comes from a lot of things, but the main inspiration was I lost a baby and I got postpartum from it really badly and I went to Africa to go heal my heart, my body, my spirit to see what I could do to make, you know, to heal this. It was really very selfish. So I decided to go volunteer in Africa and I wouldn't know it, but I would I would be my life purpose right smack in the face. And I would meet Mama Jamira, who's this traditional midwife that I um, ended up founding the clinic around. The minute I met her, we fell in love. She was this traditional midwife, middle of nowhere, which helping mamas try to have babies with no medical supplies and nothing. And so I got her some supplies, and this vision came to me when meeting her. And I wouldn't realize the vision was a vision until much year, years later, really, to be honest with you. And it, it, I still get chills. It's like miraculous because I'm like a caretaker for this vision. It's it's so I don't know. It's magical. One mama is so much bigger than me, and um, and what what the vision is is it's it's a birthing clinic. It helps that every baby is born safely, HIV prevention from mother to baby. It's a medical clinic, stopping um, malaria testing and treatment, HIV, um, STDs, basic basically five main healthcare problems that we can solve and then economic sustainability so we teach the community how to make all the outfits that I wear almost everything you ever see me in is made like this dress and this whole all the jewelry is made in Uganda we teach the community how to make it and this is what funds us like this outfit saves about 150 I probably know 200 lives with everything I got on and so every four dollars is a mother and a baby I mean I don't take any money from this. This is so that we buy birthing kits, medical supplies, pay for the health professionals. It's all indigenously run. I just try to teach them how to do things so they can be self-sufficient. And the goal is to build 250 clinics around the world, wherever women live under a dollar a day and have babies in those conditions. And, um, and what's crazy is the goal is supposed to be to get every clinic should be self-sustaining within five to 10 years. And what's so crazy is that we really are starting to hit our mark. Like we're becoming self-sustaining. Like we fund ourselves from the one mama collection. Like how is that even possible? And I do this in my spare time. I don't take a salary from it. This is my way. And um, now it's become a movement. Here we are at New York Fashion Week. We're the official charity for the ICU network events. And we now are launching our fall collection. And stores are interested in, in taking us. And that's how we plan to build the 250 clinics. And that's just one mama. That's the vision of every clinic costs about $150,000 to build and have it sustainable within 10 years. I mean, it's not, it's doable. If I can do this in my spare time, can you imagine if we all did this as a movement? And so that's really what I'm trying to do now is create a movement to fight for your joy and fight for my joy. If I fight for my joy, we fight for the joy of others. And so now it's about, I'm gonna create, basically create a new currency that's based on joy so that you're, you're learning how to heal your own body, your own mind, your own spirit, but in the process, you're also helping others. And that's launching in November. And that's going to feature the Shaboom products, which I haven't even told you about that. That's like the all natural mineral makeup line that I designed to be the, the for profit that pays for the US operations and then hopefully the future clinics. 